This exhibition is by Harold Town. Entitled The Wild One, it provides a fascinating overview of Town's talent, showcasing some of his most well-known series, including The Snaps, these, his saps or single autographic prints, other paintings and collages. The controversial painter was a central figure in the Painter's Eleven. The Painter's Eleven was a Toronto collective of artists that introduced abstract art to Canada in the 1950s. Among the highlights is a large selection of single autographic prints. These pieces of which Harold Town first regained renown for was a, that in the 1950s. Colorful, delicate, and one of a kind, these monographic or monotype prints were exhibited at the Venice Biennale in 1956 and 1964, of which several were acquired by, by the Guggenheim Museum and the Museum of Modern Art in New York. They became the initial cornerstone of Town's success at home and abroad. In the late 60s, Town started to explore action expressionism with large format paintings featuring dramatic compositions of space and color. His works were always expanding and exploring the various facets of his artistic vision. Later in the 1970s, he started exploring a new series entitled The Snaps. This technique was developed by Town by saturating a string of burlap in oil paint and snapping it against the canvas, a time-consuming and physically strenuous process based on the snapping of a carpenter's chalk line. These paintings are particularly captivating with their vivid texture, depth, and color. As David Silcox points out, Harold Town was remarkably intelligent, original, and imaginative. His energy was boundless. It is no surprise that people envied his productivity, his ability to work in several different media at the same time. It is now possible to see clearly how highly efficient and what at a high level Town's talent was. Right from the time of his emergence, Town today rather, we have an exciting opportunity to introduce Town's genius to a new generation. Over the years, Town represented Canada in exhibitions in Amsterdam, Brussels, Chicago, Edinburgh, Lon London, Madrid, Mexico City, Paris, Tokyo, Venice, Warsaw, and Washington. He provided an incredible amount of creativity and his work proved that Canada could produce innovative art that is relevant on the international stage. And he brought a new level of confidence and sophistication to Canadian art and the Canadian art scene. We hope you enjoy these works and they can be visited on our website at www.wallacegalleries.com. We hope to see you here soon.